From the logs, we know that we have the right forecast data, and it's in the right format that we want as an array of strings. So it's finally time to update the UI. Think back on how async tasks are able to pass data back onto the main thread. You can hit Ctrl O to see the list of available methods we can override in async task. If you click on any of them, it will be pre-populated in the code for you. Then you can update array adapter with the new data that was retrieved by the async task. As a hint, you can make the forecast adapter be a global variable. That way you can access it from within the fetch weather task. Make sure that this is not a static class, otherwise you won't be able to access the member variable from the forecast fragment. Then go ahead and compile and build the app. When you run it and you hit the refresh button, you should see a week's worth of weather data for your location. Once it's working, you can remove the verbose log statements so you don't clutter the logs. As you're working on this code, if you see an unsupported operation exception, make sure that when you are creating the fake data, that when you initialize the array adapter, you passed in a list of strings and not an array. That way you can call the clear method or the add method on this list collection.